Today we're at Tranquil Creek, which is on uh, traditional Tilquit territory, and we're getting some salmon out of our rotary screw trap. The RST goes in at the beginning of March, and we take it out about the end of May. Every day we check the trap, seven days a week, for that three-month period. So it's basically this like giant metal spinning cone that is situated facing upstream in the river and uses the river flow to funnel fish in. There's like a little cage that separates the small fish from the bigger fish so there's no predation while it's uh, not being checked. And we check the trap every day, so roughly every 24 hours it's lifted. And while the trap is lifted, that's when we're getting all of our data. So every spring, juvenile fish will be swimming out from the rivers and most of them make their way downstream at night. And the purpose of a rotary screw trap is to enumerate all those fish and to get an idea of when they're going through and what species. Should I touch it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know this when I picked up the toe biter, but apparently it has one of the most painful bites in North America. So we're taking the fork length of the first 30 fish of each species, and then we also get the weight of the first 30 of each species. And then after that, we're getting clinical signs, so how they're doing, if they're in poor health, we're counting mortalities, and we're also counting the overall amount of fish. The objective is to get an idea of the relative abundance and the egg to fry survival, so it helps to inform fisheries management and just get a better idea of salmon production in the river. 